What's up everybody, welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival, here on my main account. So, we have been doing a lot of streaming over on twitch.tv forward slash shade ytv, we're trying to get partnered over there. So, if you're wanting to see lots of raids, then Twitch is the place to go. As you can see, we're up to 20 days, 6 hours threat of attack, so we have been doing a hell of a lot of raiding. So, that's why there haven't been that many videos lately. Plus, I have been working a lot. Right, one gold bar for the trade. Okay, I'll try and remember that. That's easy to remember. It's just a single gold bar. And we've got the raiders coming in. So, the main aim for today's video is I really want to try and organise my base a little bit. Kind of. It's more upgrading my defences because I have got an absolute ton of steel. And I realised on the stream the other day that there are a few spots on my base that are a little bit weak. What task have you got for us? Five hatchets, third floor of the bunker, full set of tactical armor, five turrets, and find some puppies. Like, for example, th that set of tasks, that is perfect for a stream. So I might end up actually streaming after this video goes live. You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to be streaming exactly one hour after this video goes live. I can't tell you exactly where that would be right now. Actually, you know what? I could probably try and guess. I am going to stream at dead on 4 p.m. GMT. So it is currently for me 12:37, but obviously I won't mean anything at the time watching this. So yeah, 4 p.m. GMT, which is I believe 11 a.m. EST. Yeah, I think so. Five hours behind, I think something like that. Can't be more or less. I think that should be right. Anyway, so yeah, we'll be streaming live on twitch.tv forward slash shade ytb at 4pm GMT. Now, the other main thing I wanted to say in this video, this isn't the full video specifically for it, but the channel has hit 20,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I'm planning a whole special video for it. It'll probably come out closer to 20,500 or 21,000, but getting there, it's just going to take a little while to get it all sorted. So, we have just hit 20,000 subs. To celebrate that, I have been talking with one of the community managers, Veronica, for the game, and we are going to be doing a giveaway. So, there will be three winners. First place is a steel 3x3 room. So, if we go to the building tab here, a metal room 3x3. First place, we'll get one of these, as well as 500 coins. Second place, we'll get a stone room and 500 coins, and third place will also get a stone room and 500 coins. Currently only about 40 people have entered, considering there's 20,000 subs, that is not that many. So the link for that will also be in the description and probably the pinned comment. It's a Gleam link. All you have to do is go there and you just have to visit my YouTube channel, which if you're watching this video, you're already here. You don't have to sub, it's literally just go to the channel. Right. Storage-wise, I am working on saving up 50 of these dealer boxes, and I'm planning on opening them all in a video at some point. Now, I believe green tickets are the best way to get them. So, if I could get... I think it's five slots we have over at the PD for boxes. It might be four, but if it is five and I only take four, then I'll be a little bit annoyed to myself. So, we are going to run over there very quickly and open that. Have I got space? Yes, I do. So I have got a ton of absolutely just random items stuffed in that box. That is my drop-off chest for raids and just general farming. So that's why there's just so much assorted stuff in there. We actually have got a couple really good raids on stream. I don't know if any of you will remember, but a while ago we raided a base called Deadpool CMD, which gave us about 26 glocks roughly. We raided that base again on stream, and we got a load more Glocks. Yeah, good, it's fully reset. Now if we've got a gun, we have got a gun, so we can go to the rest up event afterwards. Perfect. So yeah, I've got a few different things semi-planned for this video. Main part is just going to be a bit of mass upgrading of my base. I want to try and get loads of my stone walls turned to steel. I think I've got enough steel for... Uh, 22 steel balls? Something like that. 
But obviously a few of them are going to need to be doors. Right, one, two, three, four, five. I was right. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, there we go. And we're getting bits of steel and everything in this as well. So this isn't actually a bad box to open if you're needing steel because it's really easy to get these green tickets. I'm leaving a load of these bits behind. Hey. And look at that, the free katanas are nice. And what are we getting in this one? Machete, I'm happy with that. Right, what can we do inventory wise? Don't need to take the blueprints really because I have all of them learnt already. Okay, let's chuck a few bits into the chopper quickly. It'd be cool if the devs put a pack in the store that had one or two of the not dealer crates, the um, police department boxes, ticket things, like a pack in the store that had a blue police box. Things like that would be quite cool to see. Right then, let's head straight over to the rest stop and I have a couple messages on Discord. Okay, so I've got a bit of an outline of the plan for today's stream. Ideally, I'm going to see if, if any of the devs around, they would be willing to send me some coins, in which case I am going to try and do a mass raiding stream. So we're going to try and do about 10 raids on the stream. And streams will normally last for about 2 or 3 hours roughly. Now please don't be the one with the zombies. It isn't. Excellent. Flame pattern bike is not the event with the zombies. Right. Ooh, 16 nails. I'll actually happily take them. I haven't gotten a snorkel from a long, long time in one of these events. I know they're very rare, but there's a difference between very rare and never seeing them. So I used to, I think I found two of my seven in events like this. Uh, combat gear token, that can replace. Oh, have I got space for the medkits? I should do. There we go. And I'll take that. Perfect. Right then, let's go over and actually do these upgrades to my base. Because I'm semi-excited for this. I just want to see what it is I can do. I know I want to rearrange some of my boxes as well, because, for example, I have a, I've got two storage boxes, uh, trunks I think they are, completely filled with blueprints that I'm just saving, just in case they change the system for trading in blueprints, and they are sitting right next to my outer wall, so if the metal cutter gets added, they will get broken into and stolen, because they're right next to my front door. So I'll show you what I mean. Right here. So we've got front door here, and in there, I guess they are protected by the motel actually, but those have got all my blueprints in, which I don't really want to lose. Okay, how are we looking on the... Oh, I just put all of the boxes away, didn't I? So it's five more. So at five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five... Oh, lost it there. It's got five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30. We're at 35. Well, 36, technically. Okay, I'm going to sort out my inventory for a second, and then I'll hop back to you all. Alright, then. I've mostly cleared up my inventory. Just gonna get a quick drink and something to eat. Nom, nom, nom. Perfect. Right, then. Steel. We have got an absolute ton of it. I'm gonna grab, I think, two rows of steel. And I think that a bit of pine there is gonna annoy me. Let's get two rows of aluminium as well. Now, the main problem I've got is this line here. See, none of this is that well defended, so they just have to break one steel, one stone wall. So what I mainly wanted to do was get that bit there secure. Now, this door here needs to be upgraded as well. My next little concern was this section. Now, I can have... I'm not sure if I want this section here to be a 3x3 or this one. I'm thinking I want this bit to be a 3x3, and I'll move all of these boxes up there. So I'm actually going to do that now. Just casually wasting a ton of resources, but it's fine. I have the spare ones for it. So we want to put the door there. A wall there, actually. Door there. And... Uh, stick. Should we stick another door there just for convenience? No, because I'm never really going to need to go into that section. Because I don't particularly use anything that I had stored in there. 
about that will be stored in there. Uh, what's going on? What's going on here? And let's grab some of these. Perfect. Right then. Upgrade this one. Upgrade that one. Are we short on planks? I thought we would be. That's why I did not grab enough, because I'm a pleb. There we go. Right, upgrade you. And that, yeah, stone and oak, which will all be in a box right behind me. Um, not like that. Like this. Oak, oak, stone, stone. Perfect. So we're going to upgrade that one. And upgrade that one. So this one's going to go up to steel. Uh, that one needs a steel floor to upgrade. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for the inside floor, I'm thinking. I think it'll look a bit nicer. Having our steel room with mostly steel floors in it. So we're going to go for that floor, and that floor, and then that door, and that door. That wall and that door. Close enough. Right, let's take a look at what we got now. Okay, so all of these green boxes need to get moved. So, oh, apparently that box has guns in it. That is the first I knew about it. I'm going to have to check what's in there, because I thought that I was basically out of guns. Well, not out of guns, but no guns in that area. They shouldn't have been, at least. Right, how do I want to do this? So, armor... Ooh, actually, this is going to line up quite nicely. Because with the door now in the bottom corner, I can stick that one there. Rotate it like that, maybe? I think that'll work. This is just going to be a bit of a pain going in and out of the doors here. Uh, no. Uh, stop it. I want to select that one. Now I can go to up there. This little box could go... There. And this box will get shoved. There. Right, let's see how this is to navigate. So we're going to come in. Most of the time we're going to be coming in this way. And then going up to there. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, I'm going to rotate that armor one in the corner. Now I think this is assorted armor. Nope, that is those bits. So this should be assorted armor and weapons. Yep. Uh, that's where my iron is. So everything should be in the same place in this room still. Perfect. And then we've got this room down here where I'm just going to shovel those green boxes. Now there should be one more. Yep, up there. Excellent. Right then. How is that movement wise? I'm going to rotate this one here. It's going to mess up the look of the room, but it makes it easier to come through. Excellent. So the next step is going to be to upgrade. Hmm. I don't really need this room protected, although that's where ev I keep everything that I'm recycling. Hmm. What I might do is move the stuff out of this corridor and into here, and move my recycling room into here, and have this bit a bit better defended. So, have I got the steel? I do, kind of, not really, thought I did. Let's put you away, put you away, move you to there, grab you, put you there, move you to there, grab you, put you there, Shove our radio there. Oh, I did this so badly. So that box should be our box of recycling. And you know what? Let's stick our sofa next to it. I'm happy with that. And we'll have our dining room table. There. Perfect. So I really do like my nice little <laughs> just chill out room. It's a bit stretched out now. But we can still sit around in here. That'd be, I would actually like it if we could interact with and just sit on the box, on the not on the box, on the chair. But oh well, it's definitely not a priority. Nothing to write home about. No idea if that's the right phrase or not. Okay, ah, you need a floor upgrade. And for that I need iron plates. And for iron plates I need to go to this box. Hey. Excellent. There we go. Now, I'm questioning. I think I should probably... Hmm, instead of upgrading them, I think I need to work on getting the honeycomb all the way around with the steel. So, going like this. 
and especially here on our inner sanctum. Well, first inner sanctum bit. So there they have to break two steel to get to all of my store of C4, which a lot of people were complaining about that I really needed to fix because they just had to break one wall and then they would be able to loot my C4. Which I'm kind of running low on and I'm not too happy about. Uh, stick a wall there. Right. Don't need to particularly worry about those boxes. That's just a bit of oak and stone. That section's safe. So now, I just need to work this out. I want there to be three stone, three steel walls to break, no matter what way they try to get to my main loot room. So we've got one, two, three to get to that one, plus a stone wall. One, two, three to go that way. One, two, three, four to go that way. One, two, three coming that way. I'm actually happy with that. That is pretty good. I'd like to upgrade that and maybe have a bit more storage in there. Ooh, I can move my not safely stored blueprints to there. There we go. Now, yes, I know technically they were just invincible because of the garage there, but I like them being actually in a storage room. I'm definitely more happy with them like that. Let's take a look at how this feels now. So yeah, these are my blueprints. Blueprints there. And blueprints there. There from the pack for rare blueprints or file for rare blueprints, whatever it's called. All the doubles, the ones I've already got. Hey, it's not freezing anymore. Now, I think if I put a minigun in here, it freezes a little bit, but now... Okay, well, that's annoying. When I was streaming yesterday, it would freeze for about 10 seconds every time I interacted with the recycler. Huh. Oh, well. Right. I'm not sure if there's anything else I actually want to do this video. Obviously, I've already talked about the giveaway, talked about a vague idea of what I'm planning for 20,000 subs, redesigned my base, got stuff for the PlayStation, dealer, and rest stop. You know what? I'm happy with that. I hope you all are as well. And I will be seeing you all at 4 pm GMT over on twitch.tv forward slash shade YTV. Remember, of course, to join Discord as well. Link for that is also in the description. Bye. You see.